On today's video, I'm going to review the Black Max Riggs and Stratton E450 that I purchased from Walmart at the store last June 21, 2021. And for $197, it came in a box. All I had to do was unfold the handles, no big deal. And I have. I can't tell you how many times I've used it, probably two dozen times at least. I used it a few times during the winter to cut the yard at my shop. I put ryegrass out. I have a much bigger backyard, a quarter acre total. Anyway, a little here and I got some on the other side and then the backyard all together about a quarter of an acre. And this is a push mower and that's what I wanted. Good exercise for me. And, uh, and um, been very pleased with it. Interesting thing about the oil, uh, there's no drain plug on the block underneath like the ones I'm used to. So I looked at instructions. It make a lot of sense. So of course I go to YouTube and I watched a video of a lady doing it and I said, wow, it's easy. So she, you just unscrew this yellow cap, which you check the oil uh, level with. And first of all, you run it out of gas. I mean, literally run it out of gas. I didn't go try to pour mine out to pour it or pump it out. If you try to pour it, then your oil's gonna get in your gas and your carburetor because it's on the opposite side. So I just literally ran it out of gas. And then just under the yellow plug, got a little silver aluminum casserole disposable pan, put it down there between the muffler and the yellow cap, pull the yellow cap off, turn the mower over almost all the way over and it just drained all the oil. Of course, it was, I warmed it up a little bit so it'll drain easy like you're supposed to. And then I think I put like 16 ounces back in. I can't remember. I used 30 weight SAE Briggs and Stratton oil. I mean, it was a good lead. five minute process. It was so easy. I kind of liked it better than putting a lawnmower on a stand or a table and getting underneath of it cutting your arms all up to try to get a plug a wrench in there and anyway been very happy with it did I say I paid $197 $197 for it last year and now online I'm looking I could have swore I think when I looked for it the other day it was like $229 or $249 like everything else going sky high uh, thanks to Biden's inflation Anyway, we're going to give her a little crank here. I got to go, matter of fact, mow the yard today. Uh, she's always not failed to crank me. Usually on the first or second try, you prime it three times. See if I can do this with a phone in my hand. First time. And also, it's a mulchy mower's rail as well. And I do mulch a little bit over here on the front and try to get some more grass to grow. But basically just lift this up, snap that off. It just goes in there like that. And snap it back on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm the first part of my yard that I mow, I, I actually mulch it. So anyway, hope this helps. Got any questions, make a comment. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It's just basically a one year review. And I appreciate if you would subscribe, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have a lot of DIY videos and more reviews on stuff. I got a lot of toys in my shop, a lot of toys. And done a lot of work man cave built to the shop um oh i appreciate watching the video and have a great day and god bless you